Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cancel button for the weight bar. So you're probably wondering why you would want a cancel button for the weight bar, uh, which I've discussed in another video um, that I'll post in the description. Uh, so here is what we did in the other video. So I'm going to, uh, in this case, I'm going to make an I end, so an iteration end, so that I can easily change this for later on. Uh, so I'm going to make a weight bar, and the weight bar like this, and we'll just call it iterating, like that, and then we'll do the loop. And then we're going to stop it at i. So for i equals 1, it steps up 1 to i end. We're going to update the weight bar uh, as i over i end. And we'll end it like that. Uh, so in this case, and then we'll delete we'll delete the weight bar after we're done. So in this case, uh, it'll go pretty fast. Uh, so we don't have to exit out of anything when it's, when it's iterating. But what if I made the end uh, I end 10,000 as opposed to 1,000, it would take a while. So what we want to do is put a cancel button in. So I'm going to change this to, uh, this now says press cancel. Um, I'll just say press cancel just uh, as the name of the figure. And then to create the cancel button, we're going to do create cancel button. And then set app data oops, GCBF comma cancel one like that okay so that creates the weight bar and we still have the weight bar in here and then we want to check if we had canceled so this this creates a cancel button on the weight bar we want to be able to check if it's canceled and if it's canceled we want to break out of this whole loop so i'm going to put a conditional statement if get uh, get app data weight bar cancel Okay, and then I'm going to print to the screen a message that was taking too long. Okay, and then I'm going to set a canceled uh, variable equal to, to 1. And I'm going to set the same canceled variable equal to 0 up here. 0 meaning it hasn't canceled. 1 meaning we have canceled. We press the cancel button. And then I'm going to break, which breaks out of the big loop. And then end that if statement. Okay, so instead of deleting this down here, then... Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say if cancelled is equal to zero, that means that we did not press the cancel button. Then we can say we waited the whole time that and and then we can delete. Now we spelled delete wrong. And we can delete the wait bar. So in this case, you can see that it'll take a really long time when I run it. It'll take a really long time, so I'm probably going to want to press. Uh, the cancel button and it'll break out and it'll say that was taking too long. So this is taking a really long time so I'm gonna press the cancel button here and then you can see it says that was taking too long and it closes the uh, it closes the the weight bar. So what happens if I go back to my other um, length which was a thousand and I don't have time to or I don't want to press the cancel button then it's like oh that ran fine and then it says we waited the whole time. So that's how you can create a cancel button and that's probably why you'd want to use a cancel button if something's taking too long. Uh, thanks for watching.